Ladies and gentlemen, our 2017 Kimpro Platinum Standard for Education is Dr. M. Anand Krishnan. <clears throat> Dr. M. Anand Krishnan is the synonym of a role model teacher. A significant part of Dr. Anand Krishnan's career in different phases revolved around the Indian Institute of Technology, Kanpur. From teaching faculty to chairman of the Board of Governors. In the first phase of his professional career, Dr. Anand Krishnan served as a teaching assistant while pursuing a PhD in the Department of Civil Engineering at the University of Minnesota, and he then seeded his passion for teaching. As a byproduct, he also developed an interest in engineering research. On returning to India from the USA in 1963, Dr. Anand Krishnan was absorbed as a member of the faculty of the newly established IIT Kanpur in the Department of Civil Engineering. For 11 years, he served in various academic posi positions as assistant professor, professor, senior professor, chairman of Civil Engineering Department, dean, and acting director. Being a civil engineer, he also played a major role in developing the infrastructure of this distinguished technology education campus. Dr. Anand Krishnan's second phase commenced post the peaceful nuclear explosion at Pokhran in 1974. As a strategic move, the government of India posted Anand Krishnan to the Embassy of India in Washington, D.C. to advise a series of ambassadors from India on how to deal with issues raised by members of the U.S. Congress. In 1978, Dr. Anand Krishnan was appointed for one year as Chief of New Technologies in the Office of Science and Technology in the United Nations in New York. In this role, he successfully assisted in the preparation for the United Nations Conference on Science and Technology for Development, scheduled for the following year in Vienna. In recognition of his quality thinking, he was invited to assist in the implementation of the conference resolutions. Over the 10 years of this rollout, he grew to Deputy Director, Center of Science and Technology for Development, United Nations, New York, catalyzing science and technology in developing nations. In the final phase, commencing 1989, Dr. Anand Krishnan returned to India. He was invited by a search committee for the role of Vice-Chancellor of Anna University in Chennai. Over two terms, ending 1996, Dr. Anand Krishnan introduced several structural reforms. <coughs> Excuse me. They primarily related to decentralizing the university power structure, total internal evaluation, research funding, industry relations, and alumni relations all leading to performance excellence. Post-retirement, Dr. Anand Krishnan has served as Chairman, Board of Directors, IIT Kanpur, with deep sentiment. Padma Shri Dr. M. Anand Krishnan, from caterpillar to butterfly. We salute Ms. Dr. Anand Krishnan, our Kimpro Platinum Standard 2017 for education. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Anand Krishnan. May I request Mr. Himendra Kothari, recipient of the Kimpro Medal 2016, and Dr. Rajan Saxena to do the honors.
Thank you. Over to you. Distinguished prime movers of the Kimpro Foundation, eminent industrialists, educationists, entrepreneurs, intellectuals, teachers, and even those bright young children. I am indeed very grateful to Kimpro Foundation for honoring me with this award. By giving this award, more than me, I think Kumpra Foundation is sending a signal that how important the quality, quality management of higher educa education in India is. If you want to compete in this society, if you want to have prestige for your degree, if you want employability of your students, and if you want to compete in this world, I think quality of education is very important. You can expand education in an unlimited manner, but if it loses quality, we lose everything. And so, I think this is a message which Kumpra Foundation is sending. And I think we have a challenge. In India, we are all now beginning to realize the value of the quality, but we are still not very sure what are the parameters on which you judge the quality of education? And you're also not very sure what are the yardsticks by which you measure the quality of education. But in spite of all that, we are going ahead with assessment, accreditation, and all of that. But sooner or later, I think we would have to find out the true parameters by which you judge the standard. Otherwise, if I ask every one of you, each one of you will come with one parameter as what constitutes education. And if I ask every one of you will come with a measure, standard measure for measuring education. But I think we will have to settle down to what those critical parameters which judge the quality of education and what are those reliable measures by which you can set. And I'm sure we will do that and we will do that soon enough. Thank you so much for this talk.